So this is the first thing that we're gonna be talking about, uh, homies, and that is a while back. How many? How how long ago was it when this got like announced or like hinted at? Well, not even hinted at, but uh, Capcom put out like a special fan poll asking fans around the world who is a Capcom fan uh, these super elections. <laughs> Just like a small little like questionnaire like survey slash poll and people were like voting um on and it, uh, on capcom and fans were voting like who's like favorite care their favorite character from capcom female boss male boss um any sequels that they want to get like made from old school or even like current Capcom intellectual properties, IPs. Um, but we have the results, right? This was like a few months ago and I think like a few days ago this got uh, appeared. What? Like June 11th. The final poll have been like tal- polls have been tallied. And we're just gonna quickly like break down uh, some of these like super elections because you know This is like a fan poll that Capcom doesn't usually do Right Capcom doesn't usually host super big like uh, Elections like this um, So it's like a sign that okay Capcom is doing so far well well off, right? With the huge success of Street Fighter 6, they are gaining traction and popularity once again with the Monster Hunter IP franchise. Murky in Resident Evil after 4? So it's a little bit like Uncharted Waters. Um, some other IPs are like coming back like uh, Phoenix Wright and there's always the uh, HD collections, especially the most recent one with Capcom fighting collection and then of course there's fan uh, support for old games that did not uh, uh, that d are dead and are continued by fan loyal support like Marvel vs Capcom 3 with the modding community and especially with MVCI with getting a a cherished loved like bundle that's adding new Ross uh, not, I don't know if it, they are adding new characters, but a new texture uh, graphical update as well as a modded like nerf slash nerf slash buff list for most of the characters in MVCI. So Capcom is doing pretty fucking solid right now and we're gonna be dissecting these uh, results and let's see what we can grab for this, right? Um, let's see. These are the people who voted in the Capcom Super Elections, right? A majority of male, a majority of male fans uh, represent the Blueberry Pie chart. Astonished to say that there are 14% of female game, of female Capcom fans. That's pretty good. Not to be rude or harsh, but this is just like from a like just a. Uh, Last is half empty, half empty standpoint, but most of most of girl gamers either relegate down to League of Legends, Valorant, or Overwatch. You know, like that's like the demographic. So it's surprising to see that 14% are into uh, Capcom games. I can guarantee, I can guarantee a majority will also, no offense, will say like. Okami is their best game because you know cute doggo monster hunter because of the multiplayer aspect and just cute little monsters via like the Pokemon-esque RPG stories um, So yeah, right like that's that's kind of like obvious um, Generation ratio, right? Oh, so this is like age gaps 8% are like am 39% are in their 20s I'm especially like one of them uh, 50s and 1% 60s. I would love to know who's that 1% for 60 years old as a result of the calculations in the Capcom Super Elections, number one has been decided. Two crowns achieved. Number one character unanimously voted for everybody is Dante from Devil May Cry. And the number one title from Capcom 
is Devil May Cry 5. Good shit though. I mean, I love, um, I wish it was like a fighting game, honestly, but good shit, uh, Devil May Cry, man. Holy crap. But I can understand why Devil May Cry and Dante are super popular in these like Capcom super elections. You know, I'm a Devil May Cry uh, enthusiast especially, right? I love DMC. DMC 3, 4, and 5 the most. DMC 1 and 2? I was expecting SF. I wish that was the case too. Which Capcom games do you like the best? A lot of people voted for Dino Crisis. Wow. Fucking Dino Crisis? That's crazy. To make like a summary short for anybody that does not know Dino Crisis, it's basically Resident Evil but with dinosaurs instead of zombies. You get to fight like a T-Rex as a Resident Evil boss battle or some shit. Oh, you get to see like all this stuff, right? Ranking details, uh... Oh, so there- so there's more. <laughs> By male fans, Devil May Cry. By female fans, Okami. Right, I'm not I'm not being rude, like, I'm not being rude, but this is just to be expected with these things. Who's your favorite Capcom character? Yeah, Dante. I'm surprised that X got in there. Holy shit. There's still like Mega Man, Mega Man fans out there somewhere. Uh, what do you look for in a Capcom game? Exhilarating gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to have something like stiff or like, you know, too mundane. We want something that like wows us. The reason why uh, we talked about Devil May Cry, but there's also other games like Monster Hunter. There's also just the Capcom fighting games like in general. They offer like really like unique ideas for their uh, game gameplay. So it's really like sick to just uh, have this as the number one answer. An action game that helps relieve daily stress. <laughs> Image do you have of Capcom? Creative spirit. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, are there any Capcom games, including a spin-off, including spin-offs, that you would like to get a sequel or a new game? The number one being Dino Crisis. Wow. Wow, Dino Crisis. Number one, top it all off, is a Dino Crisis game. Okay, so here's my take on this, right? It's cool that it's number one, but we kind of technically got something Dino Crisis like, but it was in the most egregious, like, the most, like, you know, unprofane levels of, like, oh, we want a cash cow from Capcom. That was Exoprimal. Exoprimal was like a four, yeah, four player, like multiplayer PVE, like third person shooter. Kind of technically is like a Overwatch, but yeah, you just fight off like hordes of, hordes of dinos. Then you fight like a mid boss and then you fight like a final boss. And then you do the final section, which is PvP, and over and it was a cool concept, and the premise was really cool because, holy shit, Capcom and dinosaurs? Is this Dino Crisis? No, it's not. Even though they got a character that's like not Regina, Regina, sort of thing, you know, but. Yeah, we all technically got Exoprimal, but my thing is is that, like I said, Dino Crisis is essentially Resident Evil, but with dinosaurs. And Resident Evil is already like doing, already like did well. So would having this back make any like thing whatsoever? Maybe, maybe it would emulate like some levels of like OG Jurassic Park. And I know there's like a Jurassic Park uh, game coming soon, so maybe, but but my thing is like, would this be a really like cool game to like have? Will it really like make Capcom revitalize like Dino Crisis? I hope so. I would love old school Capcom IPs back, but I don't think it would be really like that well. It will be like a cool first month and then everybody will be be like done with it anyway. 
Outside of Regina, I don't know any other characters in Dino Crisis. Outside of like the boss battle of a T-Rex, I don't know what the fuck the lore is for Dino Crisis. Um, so it's gonna be hard, to say the least, for Dino Crisis. I would love to see it come back, but it's just like a huge like iffy, right? Male is Dino Crisis, female is Ace Attorney. Oh, because of anime as fuck characters, that's why. Yeah, okay, I'm, that makes sense. So yeah, these fucking comments. <laughs> For Ace Attorney. <laughs> Please, when are we gonna get a new Ace Attorney game? Please, I beg of you, I want, this, I want to see Phoenix Wright and the gang again before I die. Chill. <laughs> Chill. Let's see, ranking. All right. Is there any game that you would like to see completely remade with the latest technology, including character design and story direction? Not in here, but second is Onimusha, Breath of Fire 1, 2, and 3. Ah, Rival Schools. I want to see, right? I want to see, man. I want to see a new Rival Schools, bro. What was the first Capcom game you played? I don't know what I put for my answer. Everybody's just like Mega Man, though. Wow. Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2 The World Warriors is like second. Resident Evil. Uh, which Capcom game has influenced you the most? Wow, Resident Evil. Devil May Cry also influenced me. That was like my first influence. Resident Evil there. Do you have a complaint that you would like to share with Capcom? Yes. Reboot previous IPs, please, man. Like I said, there are a lot of just I, a lot of unused IPs just sitting there collecting dust for no reason at Capcom. And the only IPs that are really making them bank, which is, you know, that's how they got their success. Street Fighter, Monster Hunter, Resident Evil. Those are like the top three right now. Um, but we want to see more things come out of like Capcom instead of like the safe picks that we see every year or so. Like, damn bro, please. Please bring them back. We all welcome your support for Capcom. Yes. Okay. And so is that it? Yeah. Received numerous thank yous. Yeah. So that was like the Capcom poll. I think like the polls showed us something a lot about like Capcom fans, right? It's like, um, either Devil May Cry or Resident Evil, but most of all, we want like old school IPs to like come back, right? That's like, our, that's like, we want to see like old franchises come back in some way shape or form in the modern era so if they revive an old ip and they have like done this before right through some other means let's say darkstalkers for instance darkstalkers they re-release like an hd collection back in the ps3 to promote like a concept of a darkstalkers modern day with like Street Fighter 4 like um, empty framework graphics but nobody bought it people bought it in the hopes of a new month uh, of a new Darkstalkers game but Capcom pulled the plug on it because of low sales numbers right so they pretty much like just are a business entity at the end of the day and what will make people buy like games is like the ones that usually output a lot of uh output a lot of units sold or cash in in their bank rep bank revenues you know so yeah this is like capcom we love like their ips but they they gotta like gamble and if they want to bring back a ip they gotta make it work you know um, as for like uh, fictional stuff, right? It makes sense, right? For males, you get to have like a wide like variety, but like females, yeah, this is to be expected, right? This is of course to be like expected. But I'm surprised that a lot of people really want Dino Crisis back. People really want Dino Crisis. I have a friend that like, um, one of his like favorite Capcom games outside of Monster Hunter is Dino Crisis. And he would love to see a Dino Crisis come back. But like I said, 
does is Dino Crisis like anything like new? No, like I said, Resident Evil but with but with dinosaurs, right? You get to feel the fear of like a of like clever girl like like he's going to she's going to like pounce and eat your ass sort of thing. So, like yeah. Right? Yeah, Dino Crisis for sure. Um but would it do anything that crazy or that different from the Monster Hunter formula? Maybe they could do something. Maybe the guys at RE Engine could look into that and like try to make it a little bit, a little bit unique from Resident Evil. But I don't think so. <laughs> it would be fun, but we already got it. Uh, Dino Crisis with Exo Primal, but even then, Exo Primal kind of like bombed, unfortunately. Um, so let's see, man. Let's see.